In this video, I'm going to show you how to quickly and easily set up Google Tag Manager in WordPress. Hey guys, my name is Roman and welcome to Webby Digital channel. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to quickly and easily set up GTM in WordPress. If you're running a website or a WordPress website, you may be running an e-commerce store or a store which is based on the landing page or a book or selling anything. The chances are you are using uh, analytics like Google Analytics or Pixel to track your performance, right? And GTM, Google Tag Manager, makes it super easy to add all sort of other tracking codes like pixel adverts conversion tracking etc so whether you're starting it out or you have been using a wordpress for a while so this video is for you so if you haven't subscribed to this channel please do it because we are going to uncover all such tutorials in future in this channel so let's get started so here we have web wordpress dashboard and you need a three things first is gtm account obviously if you have a google account you can easily just sign it up there you will find the link in the description box and second is a gtm wordpress based plugin so there's a ton of gtm based plugins available there maybe a free or a premium but i will be using a gtm free version which is actually does the job so you can also download following the link below we can also download it from the plugin section and the next is tag assistant legacy which is provided by the google it is a chrome extension so it's actually optional so if you want it then it's fine if you don't want then it's also fine it does the verification job like if you have set up it successfully or not so it gives the verification of your installation so okay so enough of chit chat let's get started so here is the dashboard or a plugin page of my development website here webby.co right here first thing you need to do is if you want to verify your installation you need to have a tag assistant legacy tool so it's published by the google itself so click on add to chrome and click on extension so after add to chrome what you need to do is pin up this particular extension to a browser tab so what you need to do is just click on the spin and it will just available here you don't need to do anything just click on done and select all everything and click on enable so in the next part let's go to our tag manager account and sign up for it sign up is pretty simple so this is my interface here so what you need to do is create account click on the create account and fill up the information so my account name will be this so check your country and if you want to share data anonymously with google such that it will you know track down your issues with them so it will be easier for them to rectify but if you don't then just leave it out so here is the container name so i will just type out my developer website here so target platform it based obviously on the web because we are installing it for our wordpress website so click on create so it will just list out all the terms of service agreement just scroll it down if you want to read it out read it out so it's up to you so click on yes so it will start loading our google tag manager account so there you go so it all created the interface here so what you need to do is you can just copy and paste into every page of our website so it only based on so either you can do it with the help of the plugin or if you want to don't want to install it that plugin then you can easily just go here appearances theme file editor okay and here you need to select your theme here right if you have a multiple themes installed on your wordpress then you need to select your current theme and go to the header section there you go header.php and copy this paste it just uh, before head closing tag click on update in the same way for the body part just copy that you can either create after this body section here or you can just go to the footer.php just paste it anywhere or just before the closing body tag here click on update file so it will just create the file for you and in the next part click ok and after that you must be copied down this particular tag which is the gtm 59 this you need to copy it down because that's the essential part of this all transaction is the essential part of the, your tag so now so now we have just updated all our header and footer file what you need to do is click on submit so you just need to click on publish here click on continue so it has just published our google tag here so version 2 is live here so it's the successful installation okay so in the next step you need to install a plugin called gtm for wp and for that you need to just search for yeah here it is click on install it will start installing and you need to activate of course 
and now we will configure this particular plugin go to the setting and here is the google tag manager so what you need to do is you need to enter your google tag manager id and your google tag manager id is let me just here is your google manager tag id just copy this and paste it here click on ok and there is a container code compatibility mode here so compatibility mode decide where to put the second or so called no script or iframe part of the gtm container code so this code is actually usually only executed if your visitor had disabled javascript for some reason so there's two things first is the off second is the footer of the page or three is manually coded so manually coded may be applicable to the custom website where you need to just apply on some custom part of your pages so what you need to do is for the specific part just copy this particular command here click on save go to appearance and theme file editor again and the same you need to select your theme from here and go to the header section just after the body section the body tag so here is the body tag just after that you need to enter this particular code which we have copied from the plugin itself so now we have done all the installation part so next part what we need is to verify our installation okay if you have any caching plugin or cache plugin enabled, enabled on your website then you need to just purge those cache or empty the cache files before just moving on here so yes so result of a tag analysis yes google tag manager is installed so you can verify your installation here okay you can just verify your code snippet data layers and your url so it's just write gtm these are my google tag manager code so that's how you can easily install gtm in your wordpress so about configuring google analytics or pixel into gtm we will do that in upcoming videos so we will just wait for it and if you want much more configuration videos like with the gtm itself then you can just request it in the comment box we will just create a video for you about th that particular subject so if you have learned something from this video then click the like button if you want to watch more videos like this click on the subscribe button then if you have some request in mind then you have a comment box with you so see you in the next video until then bye bye